Hello everyone, welcome to Half Psych Teachers. I know it's been a long, long time. I'm sorry you've been away, but I'm definitely back. All right, I hope everybody is doing well. So hello again, the year is about to end. Therefore, we must begin again. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm really happy to be doing this video. I think you can tell. All right, today we are going to talk about the action potential. Right, this takes place in every neuron, yet we still seem confused. So let's break this down. Now you know my name is Hafsa Malik and I am an educator on this wonderful platform called Unacademy, right? You can go check out my page. If you're watching, watching this from your laptop, you will find it right here and that is my Unacademy page, right? And you can follow me there and you will be able to watch so many of my free videos that I've already put up. Now let's talk a little tiny bit about Unacademy before we go on to talk about action potentials. Unacademy is definitely India's largest platform where you can learn for free and you can also choose to take a subscription if you like. If you are preparing for NET JRF and if you are preparing for GATE Psychology right now, you can do so with me and you can make sure to clear. You can use my code HAF10 to get a full 10% off. You can also use your credits to get another 10% off. And that sounds like a great deal, doesn't it? And Unacademy is going to have a price hike, so you better go ahead and get your subscription. These are your various options. If you have any doubts, you can message me here on YouTube. You can message me on Unacademy um, or you can join my group. It's called Net with Hafsa. All right, this is a telegram group, by the way. Now let's finally get into the action potential. All right. Right. We might think that action potentials, it's a one action potential that jumps from, um, you know, the ads and hillock to the end of the neuron, which is not true. And I hope we know by now that the action potential only goes across right multiple action potentials which initiate at each node of Ranvir, which is a part the unmyelinated part of the axon right you can see one action potential happening and then another and then another and they do not happen at the same time right one happens and another starts when this one stops it's a long story um, and we will make it short today and that's what we're going to discuss right so i will have to discuss the sodium potassium channel on another day but today we talk about the action potential right so what do we have here you have a neuron which is sitting chilling and it is at minus 70 millivolt and that is definitely not 70 and that is definitely a negative charge right now the moment any stimulus in the environment excites this neuron um, it could be your cat calling, it could be your mother calling out for you or anybody for that matter. Um, and this is then going to go up to a minus 55 when you finally feel like, oh my god, I need to do something about this. So your cell voltage is going to become less negative and more positive to become minus 55. And this is the threshold each time. If a stimulus excites you at least for your cell charge, for your cell voltage, cell membrane voltage to go up to minus 55 millivolts, then it's going to initialize a depolarization. That means your cell is on the road to becoming more, more, more positive. <laughs> and it's going to go up to plus 40 millivolts. This is when you are running for action and you are trying to do something and definitely your neuron is too. Now we know what happens here, the sodium potassium gates open up, right? And all your sodium ions, well, I hope not all, but a lot of your sodium ions basically come right in and that is when your depolarization begins, right? The gates are open and the sodium ions keep coming and they keep coming and they keep coming in. And finally, you see your action potential spike where you are definitely in action yourself. But this is when the cell or the cell membrane is at its highest positive charge because the sodium potassium gates are open. Now that is going to be another video in itself. But let's talk about the action potential now. So this is when the cell has basically completed, the neuron has completed its firing and one action potential is done when it's reached at its peak, right? This is the actual action potential. Now that it's gone up to a plus 40 or a plus 35 millivolts, 
and all the sodium has come in now the sodium potassium channel is feeling really agitated agitated and it wants to get back to how it was before right so since the action potential is done and you probably attended to your mom's call or your cat or whatever that is now it's time for the cell to go back to normal now when the potassium and sodium potassium channel opens up again it's not just the sodium ions um, that go out right it definitely wants the sodium ions to go out but what happens is the potassium ions go out too they sort of sneak out uh, and then definitely the cell is going to be much more negative than it was before. So rather than becoming, you know, polarized again, which is its resting potential, right, it is going to become hyperpolarized. That means much more negative than it was before, right? And that's not so great because that is going to make it difficult for us to initiate another action potential. And this hyperpolarization can take the cell up to minus 75 millivolt. It can also take the cell up to, you know, a minus 80 or lesser, right? Which is quite, makes it quite difficult for you to get excited again, just like when we're very, very tired, when we've done a difficult job. And then it's really difficult for somebody to sort of persuade us or coax us into doing something. All right. Now you see that this is relatively difficult right it's relatively difficult to actually to initiate an action potential here then what about when you're already doing one action potential do you think there's any possibility of you trying to run somewhere else when you're running to feed your cat or tending to your mother's call right highly unlikely um so what happens here is no other action potential can initiate and what does that do that basically makes this your absolute refractory period that simply means that no matter what you do nothing is going to excite um, your neuron while you are sort of from when you start depolarizing till a little bit later than your actual action potential spike all right now that we've got this out of the way your cell is going to go back to its resting potential finally because it feels stable and it feels in a comfort zone and calm at around minus 70 millivolt right so that's what it's going to go back to and that is quite normal for it um what do we talk about further all right now this is a better view for you to see that you know an action potential basically takes place at every node of ranvier and then you can clearly see that some parts depolarize some repolarize and you can see how little little bits of your axon basically have different action potentials when one finishes another one begins and then another one and so on now please remember that excitatory or inhibitory uh, potentials are post synaptic and your action potential is definitely an all or none phenomenon we are going to talk about graded potentials in the future as well if you guys request it i shall put it up I had a great time talking to all of you. See you next time. If you'd like to join any of my groups um, and if you like the video that I've put up, um, go ahead and share it. Give it a thumbs up and you will see many, many more videos coming up from me. Um, I've had a wonderful time creating this video. I hope you like it. Take care. Bye-bye and good night.